great for me, massive put a sense of professionalism in our craft because when we're doing up close, we were doing like two shows a day. It was really physical, and we always, as a group collectively, always managed to stay above what we raised for ourselves. Determination is a really big thing that's required with Massive. Like you have to want to be the best you can be and you have to want to get to that point where you can't do any more. That's the first thing I think of when I think of Massive is how mm. physical it is. One thing that we toss around all the time is that being an actor in Massive Company is that you're like an athlete and you have to be mentally and physically fit before and re reach your peak before you do a show. Like when Sarah Alma, she, she was doing like one of her gold medal cycling things and she finished it and uh, she yeah. fell off her bike and she couldn't walk and she was like, well that's, that's pretty much what I hope. Like I hope that by the end of a race, I've used every single part of me so I, I can't actually do any more. Because if I can walk then that means I could have I could have used that yeah. tiny little bit more. And I reckon it's the same with Massive, it's like you have to do as much as you can and you can't, you're, like there's just no space to go, oh that's, it's a bit hard actually, it's a bit hard today. Yeah. I, like I really enjoy that, like if you like it, you love it. Mm. Yes. Yeah. And if it suits you, you know, for every single one of us it's like this work really suits us and so I, I guess for me it's about working with people who have told you very special things about themselves and that means that when you get to actually make um, making a play, making the play or being on stage with them you go, I see you, I know you, I know that you've brought all of yourself to this. Mm. I think it's weird because our stories are just the starting point. And I think once they do go on stage, they turn into something else. Yeah, yeah I agree. And they're not really our stories anymore, they're everyone else's. Mm. You're right, you're really right. Like with massive plays, I've never, uh, it's only really with massive plays have I ever had audience members come up to me and go, wow, you reminded me of my brother-in-law, he went through mm. an accident or something. And, and um, you know, people relate to them so, so personally, and I suppose with Massive, they're kind of the only shows I've ever done where people have come up to me and related to things or characters on such a personal level. Mm. And that is great, hey, it's really good to I think because they come from true stories, that's mm. what makes them real personal, and they're not just, as you said, plucked out of nowhere. Mm. And this person goes on that, they're true stories that have helped evolve into a play. Mm. It, it's sort of that, that amazing thing of really honestly sharing.